17, but like my drive to play this game has been at an all time low. But I feel I feel like maybe when I start going to Zeno and all the tournaments to see my boys again, it will probably, you know, make me want to play the game more. We'll see. Yeah, I feel that. Like it's, so, it's hard to it's hard to really like, get into the game a little bit sometimes, but I found a little bit of enjoyment just by, like playing random characters and like seeing just learning them, seeing what they can do, trying to get cool clips. <laughs> yeah, that's and, that's everyone's thing. <laughs> hopefully right. we get to see some clips out of out of Kamina and Spiros we up here. And Hydras, we see his third character in his roster. Boy, so um I know Palus really don't like the PT matchup. <laughs> they they um they some even feel like they lose it. I don't know what Wolf is. He might just be going Roy just cause Roy or he might be going Roy for a for a counter pick reason. Who knows? Ooh, nice. That yo, that up there catches people like I mean up there, up smash catches people like so wild, man. Now, it's, now, it's good. He's got big wings. They come out quickly. I believe it's. I believe that up smash is frame five. It's man. yeah. It's frame six. I think it's the same frame as uh, Snake's up to, which is frame six. Could okay. be even frame five, but huge. I think yeah, it's huge and it's it's kind of quick too. That's another move that I feel like a, a lot of Charizards don't use. A, a lot of Pokemon uh, don't use Charizard is is down to that move is. Kinda lit, bro. It's like a good spacing too. It kinda like leads into like this tech chase situation sometimes. Like, yeah, that move is pretty good. Like I I, I dab around for Charger sometimes and I really like that move. Yeah, Charger really lurches a lot with his hitbox. Like his neck and his tail like off like extend a little bit or contort in ways to make his hitboxes just reach that much farther. Also Charger yeah. up smash is frame six. You were right. Yeah. So, so, ooh, uh, we're looking, it's looking like it's, uh, slowly going in Hydra's favor. I mean, it was beast in the first spot, but Hydra's starting to get that momentum. I just, I feel like that seems to be his, uh, trait as a player. He's just really good at, you know, reassessing the situation and making sure that he always has the momentum in some way. Uh, he tried to, I respect it, but I feel like 116, you don't have to go for the side beats to go for the pretty kill. Oh my god, that horse is hacking. I feel like he he was dead anyway, but oh my god. Right. Yeah. Jesus. Hey, what's with these matches going blow for blow? These are the type of matches you like to see though. Yeah, you never want to see someone run away with a lead or really like start snowballing. Instead, just kind of yeah. really adapting in each other's face, not when, when to go in, when to rush in, when to, when to hook, hit buttons, and when to not. Yeah, um, but Beast always seems to be more prevalent, more uh, more ready to hit a button out of shield, whether it be Ivy Neutral or Charizard Up Smash. While Hydra's playing this patient, like letting letting Beast whiff, letting him hit yeah. his buttons on the block, and then punishing out of it. Nice. Yeah, Roy's Roy's always do at least two jabs. Always. Yeah. Two. Yeah, it's at least two. So sometimes they'll mix up to do like five, but oh, nice. <laughs> the mix up is to do it three more times. <laughs> yeah, the, move, the mix up is literally just like, yo, am I gonna stop doing it now or later? <laughs> Thankfully, those moves stale and you can start like grabbing them or punishing them or some kind, but just one or two and a dash back, it's real hard, real hard to mess with. And when you position yourself correctly to read a roll, Jab back here is all you need. Yeah. So, well, mm. Hydra took the first game. Yeah, in pretty solid, like, not not really a comeback fashion, but once he's once he had firm control of the game's pace, he didn't let it go. Yeah, that's a fact. So, um, unfortunately, I will have to be getting off the mic for a little bit because I want to eat. I'll probably join again, so it was nice casting with you, Ooh, boy. I'm joking, <laughs> I know you can do it. Yeah, <laughs> but it's just going up your Discord. But yeah, I'll, I'll probably see you guys again. Peace, and enjoy casting the rest of the tournament. I'm doing my best. Have a good, have a good meal. Yes, I will. Alright.
back to the solo and back to the game. As it's, it's starting off largely the same as the last one. Kamina gets out to an early lead and starts to really try and control control the root of the stage. Going back on and getting the grab on the cross up. 92, but once we're always off stage, you really, really gotta kill him because like, he has the tools on stage to just win neutral every time. Big sword, a lot of damage, uh, speed to get in your face, combos out the wazoo, like... The character, the character does a lot of things well off, on stage, it's off stage where he's beat. But as long as Hydra keeps mixing up his approaches and sprinkling in grabs when he can, it won't matter, he won't get off stage again. Great tech in order to avoid the jab follow-up. But finding himself back on the ledge is Beast. Going for the big grab but missing. A couple empty hops in, into the up smash. Oh, that there was a little bit reckless as the shield starts to go down to the very landing the F getting seemingly perfect for the right space after the right spacing, but just as he comes down from Hayward's pocket, he lands to strong this back and is like inward and <laughs> a beast responding in. 62% right off the Halo platform and Kalina, thanks to the thanks to the center platform, Ivy's up air is just as deadly as it ever is and ever will be. Another fair to send him off. Trying to catch the jump of the final. One way to lose him too. Either knowing when knowing when he's at a frame advantage. Yeah. I grab, try to reach it down with that big old neck. This there barely missed. Barely misses. Excuse me. I had something. Both, both these players are whiffing on each other. And instead of letting instead of letting these moves hit his shield as another jab back air on another move. Beast is trying to play more of a whiff punish game, letting letting Hydra swing at the air, but Boyus is so fast that it can start as well. Face it. Weaving right in right in through the flank zone. Landing the kill move when he needed it. Neutral air there, trying to trying to put Hydra at a bad angle. Yeah, that couple down tilt for setup for shield poke perfectly fine. As Beast goes for the jump get up that time. Properly mixing up is uh, pretty solid. But jump and roll seem to be something that Beast do a lot more frequently as the shield pressure is so phenomenal. Downers and jabs and finally the dancing blade is what takes it. That's that's a spot spot right there, so you feel nearly as early. And now Beast has a chance to take some of these stocks. Another jump that time with an air dodge. Baby got out. Nothing coming out from that interaction, but instead he catches the hole with another dancing blade, but this time in center stage. Has two spaces to smash out. Just great. Right. Um, neutral beat into up tilt. Very, very little landing line. Does. Which I think a lot of characters have that as like a. You can use it as a mix-up or as a bait where it plays with your conceptions, I suppose. Stuff like PK Flash or Flare Blade. I think that's Flare Blade. Um, you, where you'd think like, oh, it's a big, like, heavy move. You would think this has lag on it. And then it's, no, actually, it's not. Well. <laughs> no character change just yet as we go into game three. Hydra up a pretty solid 2-0. Oh, playing, playing with confidence and playing with dominance. Go. Well, this is a... I like this stage actually. It's really small, so you get the same benefits as Smash Bros, but the blast zones are just as uh, just as tiny, and the tripod layout will make uh, vertical kill extensions a little bit more potent, uh, i.e. Ivy up there. And if you end up finding the character on this, on this uh, top platform, someone like that. But Hydra, in the meantime, is not letting Beast get out to a strong start. Instead, just putting, putting his blade out there and 
letting Charizard's big body get hit by it. That's in the same vein as a character like Rob or a character like Bowser, where they have all the frame damage, they have all the gears, they're just so big that they get hit by things. Oh boy, that, you don't want to get hit by that jab back air. Keeps killing, and it will keep killing for his team. Home this game has a glory back air. But his ice or seems like if I were to think of the Pokemon for this matchup, I feel like the third, like the Ivysaur or Squirtle would be the better Pokemon since Squirtle is really small and can get into the Swordy's face. And Ivysaur has razor leaves and can keep the Swordy away. But these two only survive as Charizard and we have to remind the players sticking to their guns as a fairy on the, on the Charizard tail swimming through the stage. 109 is the it's the kill it's the percent he was at and the percent he died at. Frame trapping with the fair. Now they up smash into the pair and getting a jab after. A lot of low time to air dodge is just what gets what gets hydro away from this pressure. Which pretty solid. He's always landing with these neutral air dodges and putting out one of the more advances. Something quick that makes me second guess about continuing his aggression and parry death to his own when you almost take fast stock. Oh, and that's I guess another benefit of the Clyde Prime game. These will now have a, a potential for a better kill. Better kill throw, but up smash will stay killing as well. So landing up is what the next team 13 percent and these is looking to gain his utical back to the back air. It's something uh, kind of simple combo from um, East as he keeps trying to keeps trying to find that hydro, which is something he's been doing pretty routinely as the upbeat out of shield another a different option, but it would rise for him as Hydra was already drifting well away. As Ivysaur is going to take a little bit of punishment right off, right off the gate, and it's back to the map that we've been seeing for, for this entire game, and pretty much this entire set. Charizard and Will. Fire and Flame. But, the S match rather misses. This seems to be that's the, like the common the the root the root play that Beast keeps making. He's running off the platform with one of his aerials with like up smash or not up smash up air or up air, landing on landing on Hydra, holding shield and then up smashing out of shield. Hydra in the meantime sends him poke a little bit and use shield instead of waiting for the up smash. He misses the cap. Luckily, Charizard has. Flare Blitz as a horizontal recovery, and he gets in the way with the counter. Yeah, once, if you did it once, you did it 